Hey guys, how's it going? This is Logan here with Hydra572. As you guys have seen, hopefully lately, we've been up uploading a lot of uh, knife review videos. So you guys have seen this knife review structure sheet that I use. One of the um, points on there is presentation. And uh, so I'll flip this over real quick. And uh, so presentation has been kind of nebulous on purpose up to right now. Um, I've kind of kept it not very well defined because I wanted it to be able to cover a range of things. But basically what I had intended it to be is how you make me feel about the quality control on a knife. Um, so the, it's going to be different items that contribute to that. One of the reasons that I just called it presentation as opposed to having a section on centering, having a section on blade sharpness, is I wanted to be able to not mention things that a company always does well. So. Um, if centering isn't an issue, I would really like to not have to say the centering is good and show you guys that the centering is good. We should just assume that of a knife that costs very much. Uh, and if I don't mention it, you can just assume the quality control, things like that are fine. Now, I'm talking about this because in the next two days, hopefully both tomorrow or one tonight, one tomorrow, I'm going to be reviewing two very different knives that presentation plays a big part in the review of each. And one of them is the CRKT Ripple that you guys see there. The other one is here, the Velotin. And these are two knives in two very different price ranges, uh, like 180 for the Velotin and 40 for the uh, CRKT Ripple. So, of course, the expectations are, and the things I'm looking for when I talk about presentation are going to be different on the uh, two knives. And I'm going to judge a knife on its presentation um, based on other knives in the price range. So, in other words, it's not really fair to compare the Spyderco Velotin to the CRKT uh, Ripple because there's a $140 difference there. However, it is fair in my mind to compare the $40 Ripple to the $40 Resilience. Um, so those are more the comparisons I'm going to be making. And those comparisons will happen in a, uh, a number of different categories that, in my opinion, are very important. Um, blade play, sharpness of the blade out of the box, the radiusing of edges on the handle and even on the blade, the centering of the blade and Loctite on screws sort of make up the first echelon of what I think of presentation. Um, these are things that I want to be executed well even in the cheapest of knives. In other words, if you can't get these things uh, to be good on a certain knife design, you're charging too little for that design. You need to charge more and iron these things out better. Um, now on a $180 knife, any, I'll say Anywhere up from $100 in most folding knife situations, I'm going to start looking at other indicators of a high quality control, a high uh, refinement, a good finish, um, in addition to good materials, superior design, things like that that I want to be paying for when I buy an expensive knife. Now those will be the blade finish, um, lines between materials, marking on the blade, grind lines, um, things like that that add more of an artistic, well done presentation to the knife. Um, so yeah, as I said, I wanted to make this video sort of iron out more what I meant by presentation. And uh, so that's what I mean, those things there and um, certain other aesthetic things about the knife. One thing that you'll hear me complain about a lot for whatever reason is if a knife has a uh, visible detent hole like there that the detent goes in. Um, I find that as an indicate, not necessarily an indicator of low quality, but it doesn't uh, preach high quality to me the same way that other things will, like really well ground lines between two handle materials, things like that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's presentation. That's what I feel like presentation is. And now in these next couple days, you will uh, see the review of the CRKT Ripple, which had very negative uh, presentation, and the Velotin, which has excellent presentation, although I do have some minor gripes. None of them are bad, and the knife is amazingly presented. I think it's awesome. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make that counterpoint and show I'm not comparing this to this. I'm comparing this to this, and the presentation on this is a lot better. I've already filmed this review. I know it's negative. Um, I hope that this helps explain and abate some of that. And uh, yeah, so um, that is that. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more of the same.